everybody so check this out so we're uh trying to diagnose some leaking down below the waterproofing guy told us to uh take out some drain lines that he suspected so underneath here there's actually a house underneath um that's leaking we looked at this drain line that way and down didn't see any problem coming to this guy over here and check this out very interesting so this guy comes in and into here you see how they started denting it inside check this out this is very interesting over here you can see we got the screws there but what's interesting is if we pull this up a little bit hold on but there we go if you can see right there you can see on the bottom is the, is the polypropylene pipe with the aluminum pipe right on top they basically uh smashed it together to insert it but there's a hole right there so when it rains water goes through that hole it goes down the apartment below i think we have some signs here as well yeah and you can see that white over here well that's drenched over here yeah you can see signs over here actually look at that so that's right where it goes in the corner All right, so basically to rectify the problem, what they're going to do is they're going to have to open that connection up over there. Um, really what should happen is they should pull that plastic polypropylene pipe just to the edge of the building um, and then connect it properly so you know you're actually going inside and then seal around that. But the plastic piping shouldn't be inside straight down because then you're having that bad angle come out of the building then you can seal around it when you put the aluminum pipe inside. Basically, you want to see the plastic piping just around the edge here. Then they could put that cochla around there uh, so you don't actually see that. But as it is, if you take away this uh, material, you'll probably see the issue. Basically, what the idea is that the polypropylene pipe, which has like the, uh, the hub and the gaskets, uh, bell and spigot style uh, uh, connections so you can get those hermetically sealed so that part you want inside the wall and then that aluminum to polypropylene connection which is problematic you want that to be outside the exterior of the house so if there is an issue and there is a leak that leak is on the outside and it doesn't go into the walls and down to the neighbor that's the idea All right, we're gonna go on to the next job we got a clock to do see you guys later Weapon of choice today, some 10 millimeter bare flex shaft, cordless drill, uh, Allen keys, and something to open up our manholes with. I just uh, welded on some rebar together, did it myself. All right, let's make our way over. Well, one thing I've discovered is that even though the the roads are cleared, but uh, absolutely nowhere to park. Oh, I smell already. All right, the manhole's up there clogged. We're gonna pop open the one downstream first. See what's going on. Well, that's not connected. We're clear over here. one open all right right here as you can see we're full so we're gonna start over there and go upwards this is also full over there 
and uh, so we're gonna go here, clear manhole, and go upwards. Starting to get some flow. Nice. That's it right there, baby. Nice flow. Let's go back on top. Uh, oh, nice. I got some roots coming in here. Gotta take these guys out. Okay. There's some sort of shit. Okay. Here. Okay. All right. Yeah, you got something right there. Okay. Some roots over there. Okay. Yep. We got some roots there. I think over here. Yeah, we got a little bit of roots building up here. I'm gonna take these guys out. Alright, he's flushing now. Nice. Flow in there. Okay, we still got some hindrance over there. But uh, flushing pretty nicely now. Oh, watch out for that. Okay, we're, uh, we got some roots here also, but look at this, someone dropped in the screwdriver. What do you see? We rinse that off and we can reuse it. Looks in good condition. <laughs> Tough polish. So machine can. Look at that. Right there. And then right there as well. Okay, we'll finish taking that stuff out. Give it one more flush. Yeah, I guess we'll put that in the garbage.
Okay, we pretty much annihilated that clog. Um, it seems like the uh, the main blockage was right at the, the egress of that high, the manhole higher up. So we're probably not gonna cement that or fix that, you know, where the roots are penetrating. In the future, we'll probably just pick it up every once in a while and just use a rod and knock away those roots. They're just renting there. So it's not something they wanna invest in. So, uh, my job is done. We got the toilets back in use. And uh, on our way to enjoy the weekend. Have a good day, guys.